Hey guys, Dan's Restorations, back in with another video for you guys. I know it's been a while, I think the last time I posted was October of 22, so last October. Um, I'll get into why I haven't been making videos in a separate video, but I want to let you guys know I'm back. I have some big plans for this year, and I have a special announcement that I will announce in a little bit in this video, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, won't be a Dan's Restoration video unless I show you what I have in my toolboxes. And as you can see, I have another toolbox right here. I've gotten a lot of used and new tools recently, so I figured I'd show you what I got. So stay tuned. So as always, we will start over here. We have the Bauer six inch bench grinder. I haven't used that too much. I also have a buffing wheel down there. Then we have my Chicago Electric Flux 125 welder. Again, haven't used that in maybe about a year, maybe a little under here, but I love it. I have all my welding supplies right there. I have some gloves, uh, my welding shield, uh, slag hammer, um, wire brushes. I just went out. <laughs> uh, my welding pliers. Over here I have all my batteries, um, some solder up there, really old flashlight. This is like a military grade one, if it still works. Yeah, but this one wasn't even really that bright to begin with, but so we got that. Also have some wood planes over there. Um, a brush to clean off my workbenches, some gloves, got some drill bits right there, some more flux. I mean, solder, also have some silver solder right there, electrical tape, blowtorch, my oiler, which I did do a restoration video on, helping hands, wooden mallet that I made, my great grandpa's hammer. I think this is new. I don't think I've shown you guys this, but this is the gear wrench SAE T handle Allen set. Uh, we have an old um, hand drill right there. Might do a future restoration video on that. Have a four pound dead blow hammer. Have a Matco body hammer. Have a regular claw hammer back there. Plastic hammer. Uh, little crappily hammer that I made myself. <laughs> An old chipping hammer. Another dead blow hammer. I think that one is. I don't even know how much that one is. Might be a three pound. Yeah, three pounds. Uh. Let's go in this drawer. Whole bunch of machinist tools. I know that should be in a case, but I don't know. Uh, it's an old clamp to an older welder that I had. Uh, yeah, I, it's hot, I'm tired. <laughs> Over here is my electrical drawer. I have a whole bunch of electrical equipment. I have my OBD2 scanner, a multimeter, just some uh, terminal, electrical terminal set kit. Down here, I have my small little compressor. And then I put together a little whip with an air hose or tire air hose right there so I can blow up my tires. Uh, just my box tools that you guys have all seen, except I don't think you've seen this one. Yeah, I got that one recently. This uh, little nailer right there. 16 gauge finish nailer. I also have my other air nailers right over there too. 
save that for later. This one is my newest box. It's not really that new, but it's new to me. Uh, this I'm actually going to make into a restoration project. Uh, as you can see, there is a dent right there. And back there. And the drawer doesn't close all the way, so I will be fixing that. I do have some tools in there. These are some tools that I either started restoring, crappily restored, like this um, automotive wrench. And yeah, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> All these are going to get restored at some point, and I will be making videos about all of them. There's a little screwdriver I made. I got the uh, tip off of a broken screwdriver, and then I just welded it to this piece. So, yeah, custom made. My old uh, toolbox that has a lot of paint on it. And that's it for that. Now let's move on to something else. So the big announcement that I have is I have teamed up with Templar Gear and I now have a merch store. So you can see right here what my new logo is along with the t-shirt. The reason why I do not have it on right now is because we just made it and I'm waiting for it to come in. But there's also a few other designs. We also have hats, stickers, and then probably in the fall time we're going to be having some sweatshirts, so stay tuned for that. Uh, link will be in the description of where you can find it and also if you use code TOOLS, all caps, T-O-O-L-S, you get 5% off of your first purchase, and that is good for one month, so one month starting today. So looking forward to that, looking forward to great stuff. <laughs> I do have more plans for that, other designs and different products, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so right here we have my trusty red toolbox with most of my sockets. I do have a bunch of them at work right now. Well, we have all the impact sockets. We have uh, some, well, I'm tired right now. <laughs> uh, some chrome sockets, quarter inch, uh, half inch, actually, no, no half inch, three eighths. Uh, we also have some swivel sockets up here. Do have other various sockets. We have my wrenches over there. Also have a lady slipper. We have two breaker bars down over there. Over here, we have all of my wrenches. Lots and lots of wrenches. Have a few Icon, some old Craftsman, some Husky. Some Cobalt, I think a couple no-name brands. Uh, we also have Pittsburgh in there. Over here, we have pliers, pliers, more pliers, all different kinds of pliers. Over here, we have my bits drawer and a um, Torx Allen style wrench. Again, most of those are at work. Over here we have my wrenches, mostly Pittsburgh. I do have some Craftsman. I do have these Allen screwdrivers. And down below, all my power tools. We have the Hercules 3H impact wrench. We have the Hercules screw gun, brand new, which I have not used at all yet, is the 
Hercules cutoff wheel. We have the Hercules extended 3 8 cordless ratchet. Quarter inch impact. We have the Milwaukee Hacksaw back there. Have the DeWalt Stubby half inch impact wrench. The Atomic Series. We have the DeWalt Drill. We have the Bauer 3 8 impact wrench. The Bauer uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Bauer um, uh, impact driver. Wow. We have the what's this? oscillating tool from Milwaukee. Uh, we also have a Bauer cordless screwdriver. A couple air tools. This is the quarter inch air ratchet, a blow gun. Uh, down below, I have my battery jumper. I have the Bauer cordless uh, grinder. I have the Bauer Sawzall. I have this uh, Harbor Freight sliding compound miter saw. DeWalt uh, corded DA. I have a Fuel saw back there, a battery tester back there, a tape measure. I have my drill press. We have this little tiny vise that I did restore a while ago. And we have the bigger uh, vise that I like it. I think I spent like 40, 50 bucks on it. And this thing is a monster. It's heavy, heavy too. And then we also have my Cambo Hausfeld air compressor. Don't remember how many gallons it might, uh, actually it shows right there, 20 gallons. So, no, shop fact. <laughs> but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, check out the merch store. Remember, use promo code TOOLS, T-O-O-L-S, all caps for 5% off your first purchase. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.